I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, a Red Bank police officer showed up at the firing range drunk. Doug Millsaps went to the department's annual firearm training so drunk that he was taken back to the station to run blood alcohol tests. He was at almost twice the legal limit for driving. Police Chief Tim Crystal says Millsaps never fired his weapon while he was intoxicated, but others at the range say he did fire it. Crystal says Millsaps will not be charged with possessing a handgun while intoxicated because his weapon was unloaded when officers realized he was drunk. Crystal also says Millsaps will not be charged with driving under the influence because no officer observed him driving to work. Millsaps is a 14-year veteran on the force. He was placed on paid administrative leave but resigned on Thursday. An alleged rape victim who says a Chattanooga police officer sexually harassed her is now suing the city. The woman met with Detective Carl Fields at El Maison restaurant in Hickson June 25th because Fields said he wanted to discuss her case. She says that when she got there, Fields pulled her into the men's bathroom, pushed her against a wall, and kissed her. The woman, who says she was raped in a bathroom a month earlier, had a panic attack. She then says he drove her home while he was drunk and fondled her. The lawsuit also claims Fields sometimes parked his car outside her house and watched the woman through her window. Fields has been placed on paid administrative leave for more than a month and the TBI is investigating. The woman's attorney, Stuart James, says the city owes her money for being negligent, inflicting emotional distress, and allowing a city employee to commit assault and battery. Several Ebola scares in Tennessee are keeping officials on edge. Passengers on board a plane that landed in Nashville Sunday night were kept on the tarmac for three hours after a man became ill. The plane had originated in Dallas, Texas. And on Monday, doctors and nurses at Chattanooga's Memorial Hospital were on alert. Medical personnel suited up before admitting a sick man officials initially believed had come in contact with someone who had traveled to Liberia. Both incidents were false alarms. Jimmy Carter is coming to Chattanooga. The former president will attend a $200 a plate meal to raise money for his grandson. Jason Carter is running for Georgia governor as a Democrat against Republican Nathan Deal. Jimmy Carter will be in town October 13th. The man accused of killing a 24-year-old woman with a steak knife Saturday night has killed before. 72-year-old Willard Clifton Land of Dunlap serves nearly two decades in prison in California on a murder conviction. That killing happened more than 40 years ago. On Saturday night, Sequatchie County deputies found Carrie Summer Angel fatally stabbed with a five-inch deep wound in her shoulder. The incident happened at the home of another man who was also under investigation. Sheriff Ronnie Hitchcock says all three were reportedly intoxicated and that Angel and Lan were arguing over Xanax and hydrocodone. Lan fled into the woods but was caught by deputies. He's being held at the Sequatchie County Jail without bond. Charges have been dropped against one of three suspects in the 1999 Valentine's Day triple murder. Michael Younger is expected to go free today in Cleveland. O.J. Blair, Casey Higgins, and Don Rogers were found shot execution style in a Cleveland apartment. Maurice Johnson was convicted of three counts of first-degree murder in 2009 and sentenced to life in prison. Finally, a junior at Girls Preparatory School has won Miss Tennessee Teen USA. 16-year-old Hannah Faith Green is the third Chattanooga ever to win the pageant. She'll now advance to the National Miss Teen USA pageant to be held next summer. Turning to weather, we'll see some rain today with a high near 72 degrees. The low tonight will be around 53. That's it for today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.